Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Got some breaking news today. Very, very exciting. And it's so big in a way that I'll soon explain. The U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin appoints Coinbase Chief Legal Officer to oversee the banking system. Let's get into the article. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, a longtime cryptocurrency and Bitcoin skeptic, has named Brian Brooks as one of the country's top banking regulators. Brooks will serve as the next chief operating officer, the COO, and the first deputy comptroller of the Office of the Comptroller and Currency, OCC. After stepping down from his role as the chief legal officer at Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the United States. The OCC, established in 1863, is the primary regulator of banks and federal savings associations in the U.S. Issuing rules and regulations that govern the banks, it supervises and taking supervisory actions against banks that fail to comply or otherwise engage in risky practices. Brooks' appointment to oversee the country's banking system may signal a changing tide at the U.S. Treasury given Mnuchin's anti-crypto rhetoric and remarks made last year that he sees no need for the U.S. to launch a digital currency. Brooks is an outspoken proponent of making the U.S. a leader in digital currencies, specifically by launching a U.S. digital dollar. He wrote in a piece published by Fortune in November of 2019, the time has come for tokenized version of the dollar. And it's not just those of us in the cryptocurrency world who think so. In recent months, the senior U.S. officials have been exploring the idea of minting greenbacks on the distributed ledger software known as blockchain. The idea appears inevitable. Mnuchin is tapping Brooks to ensure the stability of our financial system and its ability to foster greater economic growth for the benefit of all Americans, and describes the Harvard grad who holds a law degree from the University of Chicago as a strong leader with extensive experience in the financial services sector. Brooks will assume his new role effective April 1, 2020, after having served as Coinbase Chief Legal Officer since September of 2018, Brooks is also a former Fannie Mae Executive Vice President, General Counsel, and Corporate Secretary. Joseph Oding will step down as the current comptroller of the currency. And again, this would align up April 1st if there are no delays as stated today in the news conference with Trump. Then that would align up with Trump's uh, U.S. President Donald Trump and Christine Lagarde's original date of uh, the timeline date for April 1st. Here we have, it's a similar article, but just, you know, out of respect, I was just showing who he is. This is the Coinbase chief legal officer, Brian Brooks, who's leaving uh, Coinbase to now be second in command at the U.S. Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, OCC. The reason this is so massive is stated right here in this article. I'm not going to go through this. It's pretty obvious, but I will include the link if you're interested. We've discussed this before, but short version is Coinbase is partnered with Cross River Bank and connects right back to Ripple. Ripple is the company with the cryptocurrency XRP. So here we have on Cross River site, the community bank started by a French-born former Barclays and Bear Stearns investment banker has forged partnerships with scores of fintech firms, including online lender Upstart and Coinbase. Here we have Cross River Bank acquires small business banking company Seed, and in the article, states founded in 2008, Cross River is best known for partnering with fintech startups, including online lender Affirm Inc., and payments company Stripe and cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase. Again, Stripe is connects back to Stellar and XLM. 
Here we have right on their main page again, Cross River partners with some of the biggest lending names in the financial technology sector, including online lending companies like Affirm, Marlette, Upstart, and again, Coinbase. Into this article, Cross River CEO, high profile fintech folks interested in its real-time payments rollouts. Obviously, Cross River is connected to Stripe, which connects back to Stellar and XLM. But here we have uh, the focus today is, I mean, obviously it's always connecting somehow XLM and XRP, but the focus is on Ripple and XRP as it's the major thing for the bridge asset of all these currencies. At least on the wholesale institutional and enterprise level, there is nothing better. Here we have again the Fort Lee, New Jersey-based bank was founded in 2008 and it strives to be a full-service sponsor bank of financial startups. In addition to Stripe and Affirm, its client list includes big names like Coinbase. So just to be clear, when you hear Coinbase is going over to the uh, work with the U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, Coinbase connects back to Cross River, which connects back to Ripple, is a major big deal. And I believe this is very, very exciting as we've already connected at Ripple, either directly or indirectly, to nearly every financial institution on the globe. I want to finish off this article with, with in regards to all of the news that is happening right now. Fear has two meanings. Forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. The choice is yours. Again, guys, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. And if you are an investor of XRP, you should be extremely exciting from today's news. Much love to all of you, and we'll catch you in the next one.